Welcome back to JG Garage. In this video, I'll be replacing the coolant reservoir of the Mazda Speed 3 and do a coolant flush. First, jack up the car and use a jack stand for safety. I'm only jacking up the driver's side. I place a tarp underneath to catch any coolant that might spill. Next, you have to remove the splash shield which is held by 6 bolts and one plastic clip on the front center. Now remove the two 10mm screws holding the power steering fluid tank and the coolant reservoir. The power steering tank is also held by this tab. There is also a tab holding the coolant reservoir. Now just pull and wiggle the power steering tank out and set it aside. Also pull up on the coolant reservoir to remove it. You may need to pry the tab if it doesn't want to come out. Then put the reservoir aside. As you can see, I put paper towel underneath the tank to confirm that's where the leak is coming from. After inspecting the reservoir, you can see that there's a long crack on the back side where the coolant has been slowly leaking out from. Now remove the coolant reservoir cap so we can start draining the coolant. The coolant definitely needs to be replaced. Now under the car on the bottom left side of the radiator, you will see this drain plug. Have your bucket ready and use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the drain plug. I'll be draining the coolant off camera because I don't want coolant splashing on my camera. This is how the drain plug looks like. It's made of plastic, so be careful. Now that the coolant has been drained, we need to remove these two small hoses. Use some pliers to remove the clamps. It might be hard to slide off the hose, so just wiggle it out slowly, or pry carefully with a flathead screwdriver. You can also spray a little lubricant to help it slide off. There's also a bigger hose on the bottom side of the reservoir that needs to be removed. Here's the coolant reservoir finally removed. Now I'm just cleaning the area before putting the new reservoir. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the new and old coolant reservoir. I bought this new one from the Mazda dealership for about $109. It would have been cheaper online but I had no time to order and wait for it to be shipped. Before installing the reservoir, I'm just going to clean the hoses since there's some dried up coolant and dirt around the openings. Also, I'm going to be replacing the old clamps with these ones that I bought from Walmart since I find these easier to work with. The medium and small clamps match up with the old clamp sizes. First, I'm going to put on the bigger hose. Now I'm going to put on the two smaller hoses. The hoses also have notches so you know which one goes where. Okay, so now I'll fill up the coolant reservoir with distilled water to start the flushing process. To remove all of the old coolant, I'm going to drain and fill with distilled water until the fluid that comes out of the drain hole becomes clear or close to clear. Here you can see bubbles as water goes in through the system, pushing the air out. Once the coolant reservoir is full with distilled water, run the car with max heat and max fan speed. Then follow this bleeding procedure by the service manual to bleed out the air in the system. Make sure to pay attention to your temperature gauge that it doesn't overheat. If it does, turn off the car. Once done bleeding, 
Let the car cool for a bit, then drain out the fluid. The fluid will still be a greenish color. Repeat this process until the fluid becomes clear or close to clear. Here's to show you how each drain fluid looked like. I did around 7 flushes and as you can see the first one is dark green and it gets lighter and clearer after each flush. Now make sure to properly dispose your coolant as it's harmful to the environment and to animals. So I have this coolant tester so I can test the coolant to water ratio once I add coolant. Regularly, coolant ratio is 50-50, but since the OEM Mazda FL22 coolant is 55-45, I'll slightly add more coolant. So here inside I just have plain water that I filled up close to the line marker at the top. You need to hold this straight when making a reading. The front side is for freezing point, and as you can see the needle is pointed towards the area where 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit would be, which are the temperatures when water freezes. On the back side is for the boiling point. So this was my last flush and about a gallon drained from the radiator. The Mazda Speed 3 coolant capacity is approximately 2 gallons so that means there's about a gallon of mostly water inside the cooling system. I'm using the green Peak Asian Vehicles coolant concentrate which is compatible with Mazda's and it's a full gallon concentrate so what I'm going to do is just pour the whole bottle in the reservoir and then test the coolant mixture. The bubbles have stopped and it's now on the full line mark, so I'll cover the reservoir and start up the car to begin the bleeding process again. The coolant level should drop a little bit and we can fill it up again. Now I'm going to install everything back so double check that there are no leaks with the hose connections. You can see that the coolant level has dropped so we need to top it off again. I'm going to test the coolant so we know if we need to add more coolant concentrate or just distilled water. When using this tester there may be bubbles around the needle which can give wrong readings so just tap on a glass to dislodge the bubbles. You want to be at negative 37 degrees celsius for 50-50. But I'm going for 55-45 and the needle is slightly too high so I'm just going to top it off with distilled water and recheck. So that's how you replace your coolant reservoir and how to do a coolant flush on your Mazda Speed 3. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, give this video a like, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.